College Algebra, Topic 5.5, Solving Continuous Interest Problem. To have a yield of $2,500, at what rate should $500 be compounded continuously over 10 years? When compounding, compounding continuously, the formula for that is the amount will equal principal times E raised to the power of RT, often called the PERT <laughs> problem. Okay. Well, we have a, um, a final amount of $2,500. P, the principal, which is the money that we um, initially put in, is $500. Then you have your base, E. The interest rate, R, is not known, but the time is 10 years. Now we're going to solve for the interest rate. Now, it's going to take us three steps because we need to get rid of the 500 the base E, and then the 10, and then we'll have the R isolated. So first, I'm going to divide everything by 500. This will give me 5 equals E to the R 10. Next, getting rid of the E. We're going to use the um, conversion, the, the property that converts exponentials into logarithms. So this will become log base e of 5 equals r 10. So now we're 2 down and 1 to go. We got rid of the 500 by dividing by 500. Then we got rid of the e by converting this into a logarithm right here. And now we're going to get rid of the 10 by dividing everything by 10. Now, calculator-wise, log base e is actually the natural log, but, oh, sorry, let's erase that. Log base e is the natural log button divided by 10. That will give us our interest rate. So, here we go. Um, natural log of 5, close parenthesis, divided by 10. And we get... 0 0.16 which implies our interest rate is 16 percent.